guys uh, welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here go to hit that subscribe so today we are going to make a swatch board i have bought this collection off of aliexpress it is the brand called annie's and i'm absolutely loving this brand i think it is so cute after actually swatching it and seeing the formula for jellies they never streaked on me oh my god my jellies always streak okay sorry back to the swatch board so i got this little swatch board off of amazon and i actually have a cricut um well i don't have it at my my house my mom has it <laughs> since I bought it honestly she's pretty much had it down by her house so I asked her to make me a label for this like I wanted to make it like an actual Annie swatch board type of vibe so this collection is called the 24 piece donut collection I believe and all I did to figure that out is go on to the site look it up and it'll tell you if it's a collection or not and this was sold as a collection so that was the collection name so I wanted to put that on my swatch board as well so I got these little swatch tags I believe off Sheen and I think they're perfect for swatch boards. They're so nice, such good quality. So I decided for here at the very beginning, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do matte, gloss, one coat, two coats, how many coats? So I decided to do a one coat and a two coat system as well as this collection. It's kind of like a two part system. You have the bottle of your polish and then you have a pot that kind of matches it. So the polish would be number one and then your pot would be number two. It is such a cute vibe the way that they did it. Guys, I'm sorry that I don't show you in the very beginning of the pots. I don't know what I was doing apparently, but I do end up showing you what's in the pots and the bottles a little bit farther down the road. So what I would like to do for these ones is they are a little bit thicker, meaning that there is a lot of glitter in them. The polish itself in it is not very thick at all, but the glitter. So what I would like to do is kind of just get like a little dotting tool or a toothpick or anything like that with a pointed edge and just kind of go around and move out your glitters to even them out. I would do that on your nail as well. It just makes it really like nice and even. So what I've decided, I'm going to go in and do two coats. Oh, look at that jelly. And there's no streaking. Oh my God, I'm so impressed with these jellies. I'm gonna go ahead and do two coats. I think I'm gonna do one so you could see how it would look with a one coat and then a two coat, and then it'll follow by the glitters. So I'm hoping that that makes sense. I'll just put some music on and let you guys watch these, but oh my God, look at these glitters. Oh, they're so pretty. I absolutely love this collection. I do apologize, I don't recall the price. It's been a little bit since I have gotten it, but I've been wanting to make a swatch board. I think swatch boards just make your collection look so, just I don't know just elegant and I love it I love to be able to see all my colors and it's such a, like an amazing way to actually decorate your studio is using your polishes that you have in your collection so it's like you're actually using your products as art as well so it's kind of cool I think you could do this with anything I think any collections that you could have you could make into swatch boards oh my god it's making me want to do my Gary's now oh gosh I'm just have swatch boards all over the place I think it's so cute though I can't wait till you guys can see the end result let me know would you guys ever consider making a swatch board or have you ever made a swatch board for some of your collections in your gel polishes or anything like that I would love to know what you guys think and if you would ever consider doing it I think it looks so professional and so cute I love the way that it looks. Rain, would a judge and tattle stay? How to join it? Do, 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 sick that emotive. Hush, fame, like a grammy nutter. Tay, may got go ship her. No man's in got coming up in that. I heard that you bit just searching for someone when you need me right now. Now and never, babe I just wanted you to see It's natural desire Cause you need me right now Now, now Mm, don't 
Look at the variety of the glitters that you get. I am absolutely obsessed with all the little pots. Again, they kind of complement the color of the jelly. I think it is so cool how they did this. It is such a unique collection. I'm absolutely loving this collection. So glad that I got it.
OMG, I am completely obsessed with this yellow. Look at this one. I think this is going to be so good for like the summertime as well as I know we just kind of passed like spring and Easter. These soft, subtle colors are going to be so great for next year. Well, even right now, to be honest, I would still use them at this time of year. We're only in April. Um, but I think this collection is so amazing. Like, oh my God, I'm so impressed of how these jellies are laying down. I've had such difficulties with my jellies lately. Um, not this brand, of course, but I was using some other jellies and by golly they just wouldn't stop streaking on me and now by using these jellies I think I know that it's probably a product issue and not so much a me issue because if I can get these guys to not be streaky then it shouldn't really be just the product right so oh my god I'm absolutely obsessed I love this collection okay now I'm gonna go back over in Annie's and see what else they have I'm just going to use my planner stickers now you can get these off Michael's it's just the recollections brand from Michael's uh, I like to use it for my planner so they have numbers on them I'm actually going to number these down and I'm just going to go ahead and put these little sticky tabs I got these off of AliExpress I'll be sure to have all the links for everything guys and this is what I'm going to use to attach them just an individual little tabs and then underneath I will go ahead and I will put the numbers I am just loving this let me know what do you guys think are you guys obsessed with the swatch board as much as me? I'm totally obsessed. A few things that I would consider um, next time I do a swatch board is maybe lay out your numbers first to see exactly where they will go. I know I could have maybe moved and shift mine a little bit, but again, this is my first swatch board and I'm still completely impressed of how it came out. I absolutely love it, but that could be some little tips and tricks. Work your way from the bottom two and then get the middle one at the last. You'll see what I mean in the end. But oh my God, this is what it looks like. I am obsessed. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below. Would you create it? Are you going to create your own swatch board? I'm so excited to see it. I love you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe, share it with a friend. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.